Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're with Amira Salon for amirasalon.com. This is your coffee cup reading for the month of April 2018. I am getting it out a little bit early because I'm going to be traveling. My coffee cup readings will only be available for the next couple of weeks. They are available on my website. You get a 30 minute coffee cup videoed reading, including the coffee cup, cards, and answers to your questions and also your transits and astrological influences moving forward for this period of time. So if you do want to book a coffee cup video reading, please go to my website. The link is here below. It's $120 for your 30 minute coffee cup video reading and you do get a lot of information in it, including channeled messages. So I'm going to be doing this cup made with the intention of it meaning something to everyone watching this video. It is a channeled reading. You're most welcome to comment below as well. And um, if you do notice different things in the cup, because everyone has their own interpretation of the cup and it's always nice to see different things and different interpretations. I will probably not be able to do coffee cup reading videos for some time after the end of this month as I am moving and traveling and I will not have my uh, equipment with me. Um, in the meantime, I've got Celia on the channel and she does a Cuban coffee cup reading, which she will be doing more in depth, longer video readings of her Cuban coffee cup in both English and Spanish moving forward. If you do, uh, you know, read cups, uh, speak different languages, are a psychic medium or, or an astrologer and would like to join my channel, please contact me through my website uh, on the contact page and I'll um, instruct you of what we need to do to get going. Okay, so here we go with the cup, everyone. I haven't actually looked at it yet, so um, I like to just go freestyle and just see what comes up at the time and uh, check in with my guides and channel the messages as we're going through. Starting at the handle, and thank you also for your beautiful support and also fabulous wishes as well. I really appreciate it and subscribes too. So let's have a look and see. Okay, the first thing I'm getting here is waves. Okay, there can be waves of emotion, waves of abundance, waves of emotion, waves of things coming up for you in this, like now. It's pretty much now, it's happening right now. So there's waves of tides, tides turning, waves peaking. I feel it's quite positive. It could be emotional, there could be upheavals, but I feel like it's. A, it's positive change, positive change on the horizon. You might be in and around the ocean as well. You might be going to the sea, going on a cruise, going somewhere where there is ocean to really enjoy that energy of the ocean. Very healing energy, salt water ocean energy is very healing. And it's always really good to cleanse your aura around a sea vibration. So there is a monumental event coming up for you, which I see here. Looks like it's got a tiny little dog's head on the top, like a little Snoopy's head, actually. So I feel like it can be kind of like a very um, fun occasion. There's a fun event coming up. There's something fun and fabulous coming up. And it might just rock your world. You might meet somebody new. You could go on an adventure. The waves are taking you forward. You know, washing away also, washing away energy, washing away you know, the past, washing away anything that has been not working or stagnant or not moving, because I'm feeling this energy here, very much momentum moving forward and energy moving forward. Okay, I'm picking up here islands in the sun. Some of you might be going to islands to see some islands, the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, Greek islands, islands in Spain, off the coast of Spain. I'm also picking up Majorca, uh, Ibiza, um, uh, Tenerife, these sort of places. I'm picking up islands here. So you could be going to visit three different islands. There could be even smaller islands like in lakes or things like that. So I'm picking up an island theme here for you. <clears throat> and also the song Islands in the Sun. I know I pick up songs sometimes and I often can't remember what they are. So um, Islands in the Sun is a good one for you. Okay, 
So if somebody can comment the islands in the sun, who that is sung by, um, put it in the comment section, the, the phrase islands in the sun. Yeah, so that means something. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be going on some sort of tropical trip, tropical vacation, tropical um, adventure, could be a romance, a honeymoon, an adventure. Bali also comes up for me as well. Anything to do with small to medium size islands. Not, not an island like the island of Australia. <laughs> That's a big island. But something smaller and more, um, more, more leisure based. Something to do with your leisure activities and fun and romance. Okay. I'm also picking up the word swept away. So I feel like somebody could sweep you off your feet, you know, literally sweep you off your feet. So you might meet somebody who really, really, really wants to be with you, who's going to sweep you off your feet, make you feel um, amazing and maybe even propose to you as well. I do feel that love is, love is blooming and blossoming. Yeah, from, you know, from you know, mid-March right through to April. And, you know, sometimes the timing of these readings can be a little out. So it depends because everyone has their own time traje trajectory and, you know, they need to um, have, you know, everyone has their own life, right? <laughs> so we all have our different timings on things. There's something very small here that is really kind of jumping out to me and I'm not sure exactly what it is so small the first vibe i got on it really was a little whale moby dick actually popped out so there's some themes here to do with cartoons characters uh films okay so we got snoopy and we got moby dick so there could be somebody here in the film business film industry some link with working on films being an extra on films producing films documentaries being involved in films going on an, an adventure Moby Dick um, and something to do with I think Moby Dick is connected to the sea right so something to do with being on the water on boats what else have we got down the bottom this little thing here does look like a little bird and it looks to me almost like peace symbol and there is a lot of that sort of like um, Colombo, Colom Colombiano, yeah that um, that type of a bird around Easter so I don't know if it's the dove or something maybe the dove yeah so this is a symbol of peace and news as well news and peace coming in I feel it's an Easter link for whatever reason I'm picking up an Easter vibe around it I'm getting visions of Greek churches I know that the Greeks have Orthodox Easter, so I'm not sure when that's going to be, but I do see I do see through that bird there some sort of feeling of peace, serenity, and also a laurel wreath, a laurel wreath. So I'm not sure exactly what a laurel wreath means, but um, I do see it as being something formal, something productive maybe some sort of church type of situation as well could be also a memorial of somebody somebody that you're commemorating um, laurel wreath I might have to look that one up Okay, the Bay Laurel, all right. Greek mythology, the god Apollo, is shown wearing a laurel wreath. Okay. And, lo and Roman emperors. So uh, this laurel wreath could have connections to Rome, connections to Italy, and also connections to Greece. Okay, because I did get the Greek churches there as well. So. So let's just, um, it could be a Greek or Italian connection for you moving forward with somebody maybe special coming in. They could be Greek or Italian background. So let's see what else we've got. Or they could be just your Apollo or you might be feeling like your Apollo. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. This symbol here is just reminding me or showing me there's somebody here. I feel it's spirit, some message from spirit, something coming forward for you through spirit. I feel like it's more a female energy, a female, possibly a grandmother, mother, um, great grandmother, somebody who might be spirit female. It can also be the Mother Mary or Virgin Mary um, messages for you coming through spirit could be like an angel message or uh, a message from the spirit world and I feel like it's a mother energy and a very nurturing energy as well. I'm also picking up Saint Rita so some of you might be uh, following or fans of Saint Rita and I just want to see what Saint Rita is famous for. I think she's good for f finding things. Okay, Saint Rita of Kaskia is a patron saint of the impossible. Okay, so she is the patron saint of the impossible. So if you feel like, you know, things have been difficult and impossible, then definitely this saint is with you and is going to start changing things for you. The feast day of St. Rita is May the 22nd, so there could be something significant happening in May, okay, and it's, I think she became a nun after she had a very, very um, abusive relationship. So if you have been in an abusive relationship and you feel like the impossible's there, um, I feel like there, there's definitely a change here, a change of change of situation and a lifting of any sort of disappointments or impossible situations okay so there are quite a few you know religious things going on here with the cup this month and I feel like it's coinciding with Easter in some way so I think that you know there there is um, you know that there, is, there are shifts here. So maybe do a, a prayer for St. Rita. Um, she is a, the patron of impossible causes, sterility, abuse victims, loneliness, marriage difficulties, parenthood, widows, the sick, and bodily ills and wounds. So, you know, that's quite interesting. And you might want to do a, a prayer to St. Rita to remove the impossible. So, yeah, so that is a, that's a very interesting little situation there. Yeah, because she kind of looks to me like she's definitely a spirit around and possibly a saint there too. So that's interesting. And it doesn't matter what religion you are. It's like the saints are there for everybody and the angels are there for everybody, sending you a lot of blessings and energy. So let's have a look here. Oh, very nice. Polar bear. Big polar bear. Looks a little bit skinny, but a uh, polar bear. So the polar bear is coming out of the, uh, the winter. And so if, if it has been a, a lean winter, um, the polar bear is coming out. The polar bear might have, you know, be significant also to the to the fact that you might have lost some weight so if for those of you who are um, you know working out or on a diet wanting to lose some pounds or kilograms definitely you know the polar bear is there to help you and it's giving you the courage to say I don't really need to store all this you know excess weight anymore I can let it go um, the polar bear as your totem animal is about using your own power. Uh, fierceness and strong yet playful at the same time. And you know how to pursue what you want deliberately and powerfully. You are not afraid to show aggressive behavior. However, you use it for defensive purposes only rather than bullying your way through things. You are a good provider and enjoy the responsibility of providing for others. 
So also what I get with that is that it's about responsibility. It's about the ability to respond to situations in your relationships. Some people just don't have that response, you know, sense of responsibility and they can go, you know, disappear, you know, ghost you. And, you know, it's a defect of character because if somebody does want to want a relationship, they need to be responsible. So this is showing you the strength to move forward. Um, it's showing you uh, that also you could reflect, uh, you know, there's a person in your life that you could dep depend on to do the right thing. And you have the ability to compromise nothing to negativity. Okay, and polar bears in dreams are also very good omens as well, giving you direction, navigation, introspection. So this is giving you courage. So there's a lot of courage here. There's a rebirth of courage and this polar bear is standing very strong, standing really strong. Looking backwards as well, looking back towards what's happened. Somebody maybe from the past might be coming back and being more responsible for you you know, being more, you know, above board and transparent because we've got this transparent polar bear here. So that's, that's awesome. This little shape down here to me looks like a fish and fishes are money. That looks like a nice, you know, nice eating fish. It looks like a sea bass or something, you know, delicious. So there could be, um, you know, a lump sum of money coming in. It looks like quite a, a nice amount. You might be reaping back some of the money that you've spent or invested or recouping money from different things. And there's all sorts of ways of recouping money that's owed or you could have money coming in that you didn't expect. And that's moving forward. So the fish is moving forward. It also looks a little bit tropical to me too. So there could be a tropical link also with this fish and money it also could be that you're going snorkeling scuba diving somewhere great barrier reef somewhere that has uh, you know tropical fish koh lanta some somewhere you know maybe in thailand maybe to do with um, maldives as well i'm picking up two islands in the sun maldives so there's a there's a theme here with that Okay, not getting anything major there. There could be teeth. Okay, some people might be having issues with their teeth or they might be needing, you know, repairing their teeth or getting something to do with um, their teeth are needing attention. You might have some sort of veneer or cavity or something that you're working on and it's going to be a stronger after you've actually done this. That's the only thing I'm seeing there with that shape there okay that's a very big big lump coming up <laughs> so we're going to check that one out okay so there's like a little swirl here a movement it looks like there's a heart forming so I feel like there's two people coming together. It almost looks like two heads connecting at the top here, coming together and forming like a little bit of a heart or two people meeting. There could even be confrontation with somebody or, or a kind of a face-off, not a standoff, but like a face-off. Like, okay, you know, looking at somebody straight on and saying, okay, well, what's going on? You know what I mean? So there could be a meeting of minds. It could be a sinistry, a nice sinistry, a blessing, or it could be kind of like some sort of a, a, a mild confrontation. It doesn't look like a difficult confrontation. Okay, so what do we got here? This, this to me really looks like the moon, you know, craters and things going on there with this moon you know moon rising full moon rising something big happening around the next full moon which is going to be towards the end of march i believe so big full moon happening there's also something inside this moon which can be house or home so that can be that there's something happening around your home at the end of this this month you might be moving 
you could be um, looking for a new house at the end of the year, at the end of this month or at the end of the year, that was a slip. Um, you might be looking at purchasing a property or a second property or there's also camping too. It looks a little bit like a tent. So it could be a temporary accommodation. You might be going somewhere temporarily or creating a happy family home because I do feel that is, you know, come to fruition on this full moon, coming to fruition. So there's something around the home on the full moon that's going to be interesting. Now this thing here looks at the first thing I'm getting is Nafertiti with that. So I'm going to have to look that one up. Nefertiti, meaning Egyptian. Egyptian links, of course, will come under that. Um, Okay, Nefertiti, whose name means a beautiful woman has come. She has arrived. Okay, so this could be the woman of your dreams. If you're looking for a female, this could you be you feeling beautiful in your own way, one way or the other. Um, this could be a symbol of your arrival into something, into your own life, into your own home, into your own power because it's around the full moon. The completion of something, the feeling of something. Nefertiti as a sensual, sensual goddess or sex goddess. She was revered as something of a sex goddess, often represented as a powerful and independent figure. So this could be part of you, a symbol of you. How somebody sees you, they could see you as a sex goddess. Or you could have somebody like this coming into your life who you feel is highly revered or highly beautiful somebody beautiful somebody who's like a queen could be you who's the queen okay or you might have this queen coming into your life who is regal noble has a regal energy to her past lives also in Egypt you might want to do my past life download on my website if you're interested in past lives it's a really easy easy past life regression meditation and it's only a few dollars to download so you might want to do my past life and a lot of us have had past lives in Egypt I know I've had a number of past lives in Egypt because I've seen them all so you know you might want to revisit that just to get a clarification on how you can use that energy to move forward but there's beauty here beauty beauty and home and love okay you might love your new home it could be a beautiful home Moving forward, we've got more islands. Then up here, we've got something that looks like a chain. I've never seen that before. It looks like a chain. So that can, to me, can mean chain of events, sequence of events happening, chained relationship, like something either holding you to somebody, tying you to somebody, or you know, um, I think even in that George Michael song, I didn't mean to chain a friend. I think it said, I think I can't remember the lyric exactly, but it sounds like something like that. So it could be also somebody who has deceived you in some way or cheated on you that you have to have a look at or is going to revisit. So, yeah, so there's a chain of events coming up for some of you. Some of you might find that somebody has been dishonest and I don't feel like you're going to give them that much time or energy if they have been. Okay, what else have we got here? There's another little heart here emerging and blossoming and more fish down here as well which are symbolic of money so let me do a wish for everybody a wish moving forward for luck blessings prosperity abundance 
and anything you wish for that you would like to manifest. Okay, let's see what's in that wish. There's something in the middle here that looks like something flapping its wings. It could be, looks like a little bee or it looks like a little, not exactly a fairy, looks more like a bee. Busy bee. Somebody might be a busy bee. They might be wanting to know your business or they could be busy being creating something. They might be working a lot. Um, let me look at that. Meaning of bees. Honey bee. Okay. Somebody who's attracted to your honey. <laughs> Attracting in somebody who is very busy, I feel. I feel that that could be the, the whole thing. Um, the symbolic meaning of bee is abundance. Is abundance um, also humility too because the bee is quite humble looking for a good luck charm for love the bee can be pre presented as a good luck charm for love so it could be lucky lucky things coming in around love and also flying with the wings is a feeling of freedom as well so feeling of freedom the bee has mystified scientists for eons as to how this insect can possibly take flight. Taking into consideration its size, physics dictate that it is not just possible, particularly for such a small animal or small, such a small fragile wings. So it's almost like the impossible dream, you know, the impossible flight, the impossible situation can take flight, whether we believe it or not and it's the magic the bee gives us the possible possibility to have ma the magic of believing and the magic of soaring through the sky to have something big take flight so it's just giving you the courage we've got the courage with the the polar bear and you know feeling like you've got the courage to take flight B totem symbols, abundance, productivity and royalty. Spirit animals, love, cooperation and community. B animal magic, hidden wisdom, feminine powers and magic of believing. So I just feel like something is shifting. Definitely something is shifting. If I look at this again, you know, it almost looks like it can be an Aries horns here. The ram. So there's something to do with the ram and we're coming into the month of Aries. So something significant also happening in the month of Aries for you from 20th of March through to about 21, 22 April or 20th of April. So something significant happening in the month of Aries as well. There's almost like writing here too, like letters and I can't quite see what they mean. Can be an M, can be an E. Can be a T, could be the Met Museum or Met Gallery or or Opera or whatever it is. Um, M, E, even a Y, me. It can just be me. <laughs> so that is not very clear. The last letter, it's M E. Somebody with an M, somebody with an E, initial M, E, U, me, everybody. This is your time. This is your time to shine, time to soar with your wings, time to take off. It's your time. It's the me time. can also be the me too movement too because the me and then we've got a vague T at the end is a um, me too movement. So really standing your ground, really, really speaking your truth, really opening up for your own, 
you know, your own um, power. So very, very beautiful cup, very interesting cup, very powerful cup. I feel like, you know, things are going to shift and change and going to be more on track as we move forward into the Aries season. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Lots of love and angel blessings. If you do want to book a reading with me with a coffee cup, please do uh, for the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to have to take it off my website for a while until future notice because I won't be able to do coffee cups um, after, you know, the end of this month. So, um, so please take advantage of that. Thank you also for subscribing, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. Take care. Lots of blessings. Ciao for now.